Hey everyone, my name is Gerald Murray and this video is in response to the questions on gaming. And absolutely yes, I use gaming in the classroom. I am a music educator and a part of learning the lines and spaces, the notes on the treble and bass clef is part of my process is taking the students to this uh, website called musica.com. It has this fun, engaging game where they're identifying those lines and spaces on the grand staff. They're having fun. I, I'm happy. It's a win-win. The second uh, app that we use uh, at our school here in South Florida um, is Moby Max. It's a content core-based uh, application. And the more that those students log into those minutes, uh, the, the, the content that we have assigned, they have the opportunity to go to the gaming site, the gaming part of the application. And the cool thing is the, the, the more they play the games, they don't understand, well, they may understand that the content in the games are aligned with the content in the instructional modules that we have assigned. So again, it's a win-win. So for me, uh, gaming is inappropriate when the content does not align with what is being taught. It's just kind of random. So the takeaways for me that the, the uh, gaming has to be uh, engaging. Number one, it has to be relevant. The content has to be relevant to what is being taught uh, in the lesson planning. Thank you.